Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum dear students. Hope you all are fine and having good times at your homes while playing with your fellows. Today's moral lesson is every day is a chance to learn. That means you have to avail this chance every day. In unit number 7, Force and Machines, today we are going to discuss about the force. Do you know what is force? In your daily activities, you apply force on something. For example, this boy is pushing the car. In the same way, sometimes you pull something. Do you know what is a push and pull? Push and pull are the two forces we use to move objects. These pushes and pulls are called as the force. For opening a door, for riding a bicycle or for an, uh, lifting an object, what do we need? We need the force. For example, this boy is applying force to kick the ball. In the same way, if you want to move the table from position A to position B, what will you do? You will obviously apply the force in the form of a push and it will move. Now, in the same way for lifting a pen from the table, what you will do? You will apply the force on the pen. What is the difference between a push and pull? The difference between a push and pull is in the direction it is going. Push moves away from you and pull moves toward you now look at some examples now what will you do when you use a hammer it is pushing and kicking a ball is also pushing now you uh, want to take the water from the well what will you do well you will use a pulley to pull the water and for opening a drawer what will you do you will use the pull. Okay, now there are some actions which needs both pushing and pulling. For example, opening a door. When you open the door, you pull it. And when you close the door, you push it. In the same way, when you want to read the book, you pull it. And after reading, you push it back towards its position. Now, these are some examples of applying of the force in your daily life. Hitting, paddling, stopping the ball, opening the drawer, plucking a guitar or moving. There are some effects of forces. For example, it makes a stationary object move. It stops the moving object. It changes its direction. It changes the speed of an object. It changes the shape of an object. We are going to discuss them one by one now. In our daily life, we come across a situation where it is needed to move an you know? object. For example, we tell a child to push a heavy box. Suppose he is unable to move the box. Now, you tried yourself and moved it. Does it mean that the child wasn't applying force on the table? Similarly, an adult is pushing the wall, but wall does not move from its place. Does it mean that he is not exerting force on the wall? The answer is no. In both cases, the force is exerted, but it was not enough to move the box or the wall. If we come across a situation in our daily life, where we want to stop the moving bodies. For example, we want to stop the riding uh, while riding a bike fast. We apply the brakes, but it doesn't move stop uh, immediately. Does it mean the brakes didn't apply force? No. The reason is that the force is applied to stop the fast moving bike, but the force wasn't enough for stopping. Also, while hitting a 
ball with a in a cricket we change the direction of motion of the ball by applying force through the bat you must have seen children playing with balloon they apply force on the balloon and thus change its shape you must have seen workers who apply force to bend an iron rod now the question is how can we measure the force how to measure the force the unit of measuring force is newton which is denoted by the symbol capital n one newton is the force with which earth attracts 100 g of an apple similarly 1 kg of sugar has a weight of 10 newton now what are the ways to change the motion of an object we know in our daily life that object at rest can only be set in motion when we push or pull the object similarly if we want to increase the speed of a moving object we need to push it or apply force in that direction of motion and if we want to decrease the direct speed of moving object we will apply the force in opposite direction to the motion and sometimes we are interested to change the direction of a moving object for example we apply the force in the perpendicular to the direction of motion for example a stone tied to a string and rotated in the circular path in this case the force is all the time perpendicular to the perpendicular to the direction of motion and therefore changing the direction of motion i hope that you have learned all the things but i have told you if not again watch this video or ask your teacher in the class thank you so much